Cheers. So thank you folks for following us. You can see up at the top there, Morthemne, Fragment Remix, Vivid Redbird, Go Nisihari, like all new, all here excited for the show. And that's going to be fantastic. I hope we put on a great one for you. And with that, I'm going to get us moved over to the main event and we'll make some art happen for you. And here we are, we are, yeah, that intro, my, and OBS has forgotten what audio source to use. I am joined by the Mad Welshman over on the left, and Anson Hi, over on the right. Also, hello. hello. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just talked over both of you like a huge asshole. Mil Welshman, <laughs> once again. What's up? <laughs> Anson. Hi. <laughs> All right. Thanks, folks, for putting up with me. And as you can see, they have been getting warmed up in here. <laughs> you're paying more. Beauty Joe, if you add more, I'm going to have to get more emotes approved. So you're going to have to talk about what you want to spam in chats for that kind of thing. So we are all wound up and ready to go. And for anybody who has not seen the show, I'm going to take a minute and explain the concept. And the concept being that I have these two wonderful artists here who are much more talented and skilled than myself, and they are going to draw you some pictures. We're going to have a series of timed rounds. These are not long timed rounds. We're not going to be spending 30 minutes. We're not going to be spending an hour making sure that the hair looks right. No, we got like two, five, eight if we're feeling real froggy. So, Matt Walshman and Anson have been doing this you know, for like 30 minutes. A lot of these are quick sketches, but you can tell that a couple of these are definitely not. You can find these guys out on the internet, and you can also see them down at the bottom, as it changes to my own link. <laughs> that is a JoJo reference, Twitch! <laughs> Alright, fellas, are you excited? Are you feeling warmed up? Yeah. Yes, sir. Alright, that's good news, because we're going to go to the warm-up round. <laughs> I am going to give both of you the same squiggle. And you guys are going to take that squiggle and you're going to turn it into a more complete drawing. <laughs> and I am going to give you five minutes to work on this, so there's plenty of room for detail. And you missed a spot down there. I but did. Um, there we go. I think that's a good squiggle. Let me get I it. think that's good. Yeah. Let me get it copied over. So I'm gonna give the both of you five minutes. And oh, I was also gonna count you down, but this works too. Oh, sorry. It's all right. He's just taking a lead. Go, go, go! Also, folks, reminder, this is a live show. I can see you down there in chat, and so can our artists. Please keep it nice. Like, I don't want to drink what you're drawing there, Mad Welshman. No, I don't think you should be drinking what I'm drawing here. Um, but even worse. Ensent, you're going a very avant-garde route with this illustration. <laughs> I'm excited to see how it pans out. Remember, kids. Don't ink and dry. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it's wonderful! Oh, oh. Ensign's given the stink eye. As folks can see from the previous episode, I have gone back through and we have reworked a whole mess of the art assets to try to give the art more space to shine, and I think it's already paying off. focus going into here like we were all joking and laughing a little bit before but like these guys have really buckled down into their visual arts digging what that arm is doing. I'm not entirely sure what it's doing, but it's sure doing it. God knows. Not sure. <laughs> he may be the only one with a plan for that arm. like that's some sage advice. We want some happy bubbles here. Just happy bubbles. Having a time in the poison sea. This happy bubble is out of its comfort zone. That's okay. Sometimes you're out of your comfort zone. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a suitably toxic concoction. <laughs> <laughs> a toxic auction? Oh dear. We're coming in on time. I'm giving you the 30 second warning. And then you know what? I think we're just gonna go from this drawing and move forward. Because I have already pulled from the magic hat. That is it. That is time, fellas. Y'all's done. <laughs> you have done it. I'm gonna take a minute. I'm gonna take away the squiggle. And people can see the thing that we are left with. And it is glorious. I'm gonna scroll up a little bit. There's just a touch of, touch of UI in the way there, and I'm getting it out of the way there. Got it. That is wonderful. But you know what I think? I think it'd be a lot better if either of these drawings were wearing a fruit suit. Hmm. Oh no. So, I'm gonna give you guys two minutes on the clock, and you need to put this drawing in a fruit costume. <laughs> Are you feeling it? Are you groovy? Are you full I'm of citrus? Groovy. I'm feeling it. Excellent. Do you need to Google anything? Do you need to resize your image with the scale tools? Anything. Just to make yourself comfortable. Nope. One moment. Oh, one moment. He's got a yeah, thought. Yeah. He's thinking it. Well, no, I'm I'm just making sure. Oh. Oh. Those are some suits. <laughs> okay, I guess I guess I'm picking one of those. Okay. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> Have you done it? Have you spun yeah. the wheel? 
<laughs> I have spun the wheel. Oh man, Shrift Wade has given you guys a 5 out of 7. That is a perfect score. So we are starting out strong today. Are you ready for Fruit Suits? We are ready for Fruit Suits. Ready. All right, that is a 3, 2, 1. Fruit Suit Riot, go. Okay. Uh, Starting with erasures. That's bold. I don't think we've seen that on the show yet. I know it's episode two. Shut up. even notice the text. I require more sustenance for my food, baby. <laughs> By the way, I don't have a lot of prompts that don't center around individual characters as may be evident. That said, I would like more. If you guys would like to use the exclamation point submit function in our with our bot here, then you guys can start adding prompts to the show, and I'm looking at that list live. I will see it as it goes up. And I try to favor the new stuff, because that's what you're here for. That's why you're here. When you're submitting, think of it like Mad Libs. Keep it simple. Okay, so we're watermeloning this up. <laughs> that's time, that's two minutes. This is the costume that we're gonna get. <laughs> Ansa, tell us a little bit about your art. Take us through the journey, the experience. Oh, oh this man here, you know, you he required substance for his food, baby, but instead, you know, it turned him into a fruit. He's an apple. And um, I'm not sure what his arm's doing, to be honest. <laughs> I just followed the guideline. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's really it. He, he's doing a very good impression of the apple stem. There you go. <laughs> his arm is the leaf, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> I think that he's just got, like, an evil genie affliction going on. <laughs> All right, Mad Welshman, take us through your journey. Like, tell us about your art. Well, you see, sometimes I like to accessorize my ink pots, and there is nothing that says, here is a vaudevillainous mustache twirler, than dressing up your bottle of poison ink in a watermelon fruit soup with cloth shoes. I didn't even notice the shoes. <laughs> I want, I want you, I want you to imagine the same like nine to five desktop office goth, like hiding in a cubicle somewhere, who has dressed his ink pot in a watermelon costume for his job. <laughs> they might have gotten rid of Casual Friday, but they'll never stop the ink pot. Also. I don't know how to do how to, how to how to make this into a verbal prompt. So can both of you guys see chat? No, yep. fellas. This prompt has rolled in, and I think that it's good. We're gonna combine it with. Is this a JoJo reference? No oh, wait, You mean Twitch chat? I don't have Twitch chat open. Oh well, it is. Go 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 go. Oh boy. So we're gonna, Ooh. I need you guys to make this image significantly more ominous. Could this art oh. be the power of an enemy stand? 
and I will give you three minutes to figure this out. Does anybody need to Google up image references for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? No, I should be fine. All right. Um... Ansent, do you know what the best action anime ever is? I haven't personally watched it, so I'm not too sure. All right. Well, if you want to do an image Google, now is your chance. Otherwise, you can go in blind. Sure, why not? Go for it. <laughs> YOLO. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm going to put three minutes on the clocks for you guys, because this seems a little bit absurd. So let's, uh, let's give it a run, shall we? Three, two, one. Strike that pose. <laughs> Honestly, Ansett, you already have a real strong, menacing pose here. <laughs> yeah, Pepper Agatha Quinn! Isn't it great? Oh man, he's got that stern expression. He knows what's coming next. He has seen the fight in his mind. Also, it's a mind fight, because JoJo. Uh, hmm. Anytime is a perfect time to come to the drawing circus. We don't close the tent flaps. You can come and go as you please. But please, appear more often than you leave. Um. There's a lot of suggest success going on with these, Beauty Joe. I was reading the word suggest at a Freudian moment. Twenty second warning, artists. Yeah, I think I'm keeping it subtle. Uh, <laughs> might have to come out. <laughs> Time artists, we have uh, we have hit the end of that clock. <laughs> so chat, I want you guys to to speak amongst yourselves. Which one do you think is going to win the fight next episode? <laughs> Danjo is voting for Apple Man. <laughs> As is Magic of Japan. Apparently, the watermelon ink does not stand much of a chance in the eyes of the fans. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, that's uh... Apple Man 2019. 
He's, he's gonna throw mankind off the top of Hell in a Cell. It's gonna be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I think with that we have filled this canvas as far as it will go. <laughs> so it is. If you want to scrub down, we can get to the real meat and potato of this. We are going to draw some dueling art. <laughs> so artist, I have got a prompt here that I've wanted to see people draw for a long time, and I think is going to be fantastic. I need you guys to draw one half of a dueling wizard pair. One wizard apiece, <laughs> aiming spells at the other one. I am going to give you three minutes, I think. Three minutes to draw a wizard? That seems reasonable to me. Yep. Hmm. All right. So I will count you down. Do either of you want to look up any magical wizarding worlds, perhaps? Are you good to go? Am I just drawing half of a pair? You, you are drawing one no, wizard. Okay. Unless your one okay. wizard is two wizards, at which point, like, that would be rad. <laughs> 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 this is an art show. Be creative. You can be way out there. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. That is three, two, one. Starty Amos. Ooh, structure functions. <laughs> Twitch, if your feelings are so complicated they can't be contained, in a Twitch chat, I do have a public Discord down below, and you can feel free to attempt to address the overflow of your emotions in there. You know, just in case. <laughs> I missed a couple of good shots about your JoJo pose. <laughs> Apparently, Apple Man's stand is yummy, yummy fruit salad, and his power is nutrition. <laughs> He's got all the vitamins and minerals that you can stand. And then some. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna keep with the big floppy hat trend. I think I think that's a strong move. Well, you got something against egg shaped wizards, Beauty Joe? You being all judgy? Don't you wizard shame on my channel. Unless your wizard is casting a shame, at which point, like, I don't know how to feel about it. Maybe I should go to the Discord and vent my conflicting emotions. your 30 second warning artists there is there is some strong wizarding going on like one of these wizards is casting with both hands that's hard <laughs> pixie farts are he no joke now. It's powerful he is now, now. Jeez, both hands. Oh man! Two handed. <laughs> and that's time! Pens down! We got wizards dueling! But you know what? I feel like this fight needs to be escalated. These wizards are driving giant robots. Do you guys no. have a frame of reference? for giant robots and multi-hand casting and all that good biz. 
And do you need any time to reposition your wizard before we begin the second round? I sure do. I should actually be fine this round. Really? Yeah. I believe in you. I'm going to give you guys another three minutes to prepare yeah. your giant robot. And also, don't forget that if you guys turn any layers on or off, I can still see them. <laughs> so if, you, if you've drawn your uh, rings or something, yeah. It only goes away for you. It does not go away for me. Or for the audience. <laughs> you know what? That wizard looks way cooler without those circles on him. It reminds me a lot of, like, some Casey Green art, which is some good stuff if you guys have ever seen it. Alright. <laughs> Are you guys ready for a giant wizard mecha battle? Sir. Alright. It is three, two, one, transform. Uh, he's gonna have to sacrifice that multicasting. Oh man, these pens just flying into action. Look at those lines go down. Hot dog! Just zoom in! I think the wildest thing I'm seeing out of this is that both of you guys are fast enough that you are inking your art. This is nuts! <laughs> yeah, I don't know if these giant robots are being summoned. Yeah, under sketching, what's that? I don't know. What sorcery are they talking about now? Does your wizard have seatbelts? Yes, he does! <laughs> Nerd! <laughs> <laughs> you know what's really metal? Buckling up before we adventure. <laughs> Did Bilbo make him put those in? Look, <laughs> you, even even in a giant magical mech that looks kind of technological, you've got to practice safe hex. <laughs> <laughs> and you gave that opening. Thank you for the sub-dangerous duties! <laughs> Along with a sub, we also have a one-minute warning, and a reminder that any subs with Twitch Prime, any just regular subs, any Patreon donations, all go towards helping me expand this show. Also, I guess to paying rent and keeping the lights on, but you know, the show is what we're here for. <laughs> <laughs> 30 seconds, artists. These are some fantastic wizard mecha battles. <laughs> Hot dog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am all about the pylon that has the uh, spellbook just right there. One of them <laughs> is a giant mech, and that the is... other one is a vessel for magical action. Yep. And I happen to know where we're having that magical duel, too, in the background. <laughs> well, it's time, <laughs> and we have a fresh concept that I need drawn into this image, and we're going to be on a time crunch. I need two minutes for this. Mm. I need you guys to trade wizards, and I need you to insert the other wizard's magical animal companion into the drawing. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> you feeling froggy? You got it? You need to Google anything? You need to scale and resize the other artist's image in any way? Mm, is it okay if I draw the same layer since you're on layer three? Yeah. Yeah, feel free. Okay. Sure. I'm good. Alright. Then 
I'm gonna count us down unless the mad Welshman needs a little sanity break. Uh, no, I should be good. All right. It is gonna be three, two, one. Sell it to the kids. Anson, is that animal companion wearing a wizard hat? <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Everything about it. Magic Jeffet is wondering, is that the animal? The wizard animal? <laughs> that is the whiz cat right there. <laughs> the whiz oh, cat! Yeah. Oh, I, I feel really bad that all I've got is, like, the most helpful bat familiar in the world. <laughs> Bringing additional armaments. 30 second warning, artists. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. I'm really glad I had that 30 seconds now. Ooh. All right. That was close. <laughs> That's so good. They blend really well into the other images, too. Vivi Redbirds, <laughs> you're never late as long as you're here. A wizard arrives precisely when he means to. But time ends when I say it does, and it is done. We are out of time. All right. I have a question for you artists. I don't know what WizCat is. Can one of you explain it to me, please? I'm ignorant. <laughs> it's, it's an inside joke between a couple of friends of mine. I think they're watching the show. That's probably why they mentioned it. But it's a, it's a character that one of them has made up. So it's a little fan art there. Well, if you guys want to bring that into my Discord for, like, the in-depth lore, I would be all about that. I want to know, <laughs> can you show me? I want to know about the others like me. Right on. <laughs> this is a fantastic... <laughs> this art! It's so good! <laughs> you know what? You know what? We need to, we I'm, need to... I'm loving the little Gatling gun and the tiny spider legs on ants. Like... <laughs> <laughs> we need to bring these wizards together to the same side, to the side of good. And you know what? They are all fighting an evil dolphin. But I'm gonna oh, need no. both of you to draw the evil dolphin. Okay, um, well, I'm definitely going to want to resize. All right, well, take your minute, do your, your photo manip magic. Oh, I don't try to do this, let's see. Oh, no. I, I did it right, and then I did it wrong. Um... <laughs> It's all moving, I think. I'm waiting for waiting for the, the changes to pop up. Yep, it is moving. There is collaboration art, Dangerous Journeys. It's coming up. These these wizards these art wizards are gonna draw the evil dolphin. <laughs> and it's gonna be the best. Oh, there we go. I'll put that one down there. Yeah, they're both drawing the same dolphin. Ah, uh, and um. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh no! This is a highly What's mobile going on? mech. <laughs> <laughs> it's
its action poses are in action. So communication is difficult. So I'm going to give you guys an extra minute. We're going to move it up to three minutes for the evil dolphin that menaces two wizards. Are you guys done? Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yep, ready. You ready? Anson, you got, you got space that you're looking for? Sorry, one second. No, it's fine. Mm. I just want to make sure that yeah. everything is the way that you would like it. Perfect. All right, I think Good there's now. sort of a communal vision that's going on for the evil dolphin. Three, two, one. Conquer mankind from the sea. Where do I get these tunes? So a lot of the time, from my personal listening stuff from last time, I found a lot of it on Bandcamp. But uh, some of the samples kept getting caught up in the YouTube algorithms, and nothing got muted. Things just got copyright claimed, and I'm getting really tired of that. So this is all stuff pulled from the free libraries on YouTube. The stuff that you can just use and are free to use in your videos. And we'll see how they go. So, and I'm... I'll form the head. <laughs> I'll form the head? Okay. Uh, this evil dolphin has burning eyes. Oh man, that would be great. If 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 y'all are not content to just submit prompts and such like, I also am accepting all forms of collaboration. Uh, I attended a street fair today, and someone actually suggested that he do some supercuts of the art show and like you know pick up the pace and make it snappier in post. So maybe we'll have that coming down the pipe too. Bespoke music would be wonderful if people want their music played live on my airways. Just don't DMCA claim me later. Once you make it big and have billions <laughs> of dollars. <laughs> oh, very nice. I like it. <laughs> so good. Or perhaps I should say. <laughs> Good, good. <laughs> um, sorry. I just noticed something within my area of forte, so. <clears throat> oh, so good. And he still has a tail. But he also appears to have some kind of robes. I'm okay because with he he is, of course, a, a dolphin wizard. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to keep commentary going, but all I want to do is giggle at this. <laughs> but that is time. Pens down. Pens down. <laughs> The round is over, and we have the two dueling, mecha-battling wizards and their familiars locked in heated combat with the evil dolphin. Artists, please. Ensign, we'll start with you. Walk me through your wizard. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is actually one of my slime characters, or little chibi character, but, uh... Yep, he, he's not a very good wizard. He tried. He only got pixie farts out. And then um, he's got his bipedal walker with a machine gun. Not sure why a wizard has a machine gun, but he does. And uh, <laughs> that's about it right there. You know, frankly, I mean, why wouldn't a wizard work. have a machine gun? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Jamie. Or, sorry, Mad Welshman. You're Jamie the D on the Discord, and I keep Freudian slipping it. But ah, Mad sorry. Welshman. Okay, so the weird part of this is not the wizard. The wizard's pretty normal. It's where the wizard originally came from, because 
one day I was sketching to the Eagles' Journey of the Sorcerer, um, you know, the Hitchhiker's Guide theme, and uh, I, I drew a weed wizard, and he was particularly happy with his pipe leaf, and that this is that wizard. <laughs> So this is a canned wizard. This is Jankus Dankledore, the <laughs> Hobbit Leaf Wizard. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Come here. Give me one second here. I want to save this one. I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest, that Wizcat is actually his familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Wizard pipe leaf is good. <laughs> <laughs> Might even call it magic. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, this is good stuff. <laughs> but I think this image has about hit its final point. It so is. We're gonna we're gonna wipe the sleigh clean, and we are gonna begin anew with a fresh prompt. <laughs> I hope you've been saying these. <laughs> oh, I, I need both of you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I need you to draw Garfield. <laughs> but we're oh, going to be boy. on a time budget. We're going to have two minutes for this... Uh, this initial drawing here. There it is. There you go. Okay. Got it. I got it. <laughs> do you guys do you guys know what a Garfield is? Is this legal? So if I were selling the representations of the art as though they were official pieces of art, then no, it would not be. However, individuals creating the image of a character is legal so long as it's not done for explicitly commercial purposes. And we're here not for commercials, but for the show. This is some good TV. <laughs> also, I'm not selling this on shirts. It's not going on mugs. It's gonna be fine. It's legal. No, this, this is... Yeah, this is Garfield minus Garfield in a way. It's just, it's just kind of Garfield. <laughs> are y'all are ready? You know what a Garfield is? You ready to go? Yep. All right. Hansen? We're drawing the cat, Garfield? Yep. The cat. <laughs> not, not like I'm the, ready. what was it, president? No. <laughs> Do we have a president, Garfield? Oh no, I need to go back to school. <laughs> anyway, I need you to draw Garfield. Count it down. Three, two, one. Everybody hates Mondays. His name is Samston. Oh, good. There was a President Garfield. Chat says I'm not stupid. What's up, Amp? Ampillion is a cool dude. Some high quality Garfields for only 120 seconds. By the way, this is your 30 second warning, artist. You have 30 seconds to complete your Garfield. If you don't, well, you'll have an incomplete Garfield, and nobody wants that.
I don't know. <laughs> I feel like you do know. <laughs> and that's why we are where we are. <laughs> but that's time! So put that pen down and let's have a look at these Garfields. <laughs> let's just let's just take a step back and drink in the lasagna's fumes. <laughs> Anson, tell me a little bit about your Garfield. Well, he's plump and smug. Just like he always is. Yeah, no, he's pretty on model, too. That is an ace Garf. The Mad Melchman, <laughs> please tell me about your Garfield. <laughs> is he uh, okay? <laughs> my, my Garfield is not okay. He's having a Monday. He, he's having one of those face, face plant Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> that may or may not be his actual face. But he, he's not dead, he's just very, very grumpy. <laughs> Good to know. Especially since he's making an appearance here on Wobbly Python's Drawing Circus. But, that's not the only show that he's going to be making an appearance on. I'm going to need you guys to trade Garfields. Because Garfield... <laughs> I mean, he's trying to branch out into new mediums, trying to trying to reach new audiences, but he needs a tie-in. So Garfield has crossed over with Pokemon, and I need you to make the details that add this Garfield to the Pokemon universe. Are you prepared? <laughs> Almost. I'm prepared. Ooh. Okay, now I'm prepared. And since trademark confidence. All right, you are prepared. I'm giving you another two minutes to make Garfield a Pokemon character. Three, two, one, draw them all. Uh, I feel like I feel like Garfield might not be very good at Pokemon battles. Switching the name tags at the top would actually be a lot of work if I'm doing it live. <laughs> I've, I've thought about this, and I just don't know how I would do it. Actually, you know, uh, eh, mm, no, I really don't know how I would do it yet. Maybe, maybe I will find the ability. Custom scripting some, like, coding stuff is something that I could definitely use around here. I have a very dedicated person who is working on a bespoke timer for us on the show. Uh, I can't, actually. The backgrounds and everything are all their own scene. So that I have a minimum of things to worry about during the main event. But maybe. Maybe I could find a magic way. Dark Nabbit, my pop culture knowledge is failing me. I give you the opportunity to Google. You could have shouted. You could have become informed. I, I did Google. I did Google. I just didn't Google enough. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we have got a 30-second warning. <laughs> that is time. Pens down. <laughs> I feel like these are pretty self-explanatory. I can tell what's going on. Can you guys tell what's going on? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but you know what? I don't think this is panning out. But, uh, you know, it's the same studio. It's the same, same set. And, uh, you know, better out than in, I always say. Garfield's gonna try to be in the next movie for Shrek. <laughs> you guys need to reposition, you gotta look up any Shrek images. We're still drawing on the same traded picture. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think I want you oh, guys okay. to continue stomping the other person's Garfield a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Come
coming soon to a theater near you. Garfield goes on a wacky cross-promotional adventure through all of your favorite programs. Yep. <laughs> From I'm... Shrek to the office, it's Garfield, 24-7, 365. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, are you feeling it, Welshman? Are you, are you doing okay back there? <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> are you feeling it, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> Alright, we're going to fire this off. We've got two minutes. Are you prepared? I'm prepared. I have a reference. Whether I'm prepared or not is another question. <laughs> <laughs> well, three, two, one. This is my swamp. <laughs> this is already so good. <laughs> Making with the fantasy magic. <laughs> Anson, I'm not totally sure what you're doing, but uh, I already believe in it. <laughs> the dripping all the letters is really selling that. I'm really impressed. <laughs> uh... <laughs> These images are so strong. Look at the composition. Like, there's so much, like, rule of thirds going in here. Also, ten seconds. <laughs> that is it. It's all ogre. Pens down. Oh. <laughs> I see you scribbling up there. You stop that. I... Uh, uh... Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Okay. <laughs> Alright. Anson, I need you to take me through the Mad Welshman's Garfield's day. Can you can you describe his itinerary for me? Well, Shrek the Pokemon trainer Garfield, after a long day of uh, being pretty much useless, drank too many level or HP potions. And learned on a magical trip that he pretty much hates donkeys. So that's where he's at right now. <laughs> Fat Welshman, please, please explain. <laughs> Since very successful Garfield has ended up in the position he is in today. Well, funnily enough, it's all to do with another goddamn fairy goblin. <laughs> um, th this is all going to backfire in the second act. But um, oh, yes. you know he'll re he'll redeem himself in the third act, and you know um, get the Arlene of his dreams. <laughs> well, then, let's uh, but, let's see that happen. But for now, he's a successful Pokemon trailer. I'm trainer. I mean, Cyndaquil and Piplup. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, is is Gingy the Gingerbread Man also a Pokemon in the scenario? Um. There was a Pokemon joke in there about throwing a Pokeball at him. <laughs> <laughs> and he just kind of went, OW! You know what? I believe it. Alright. I'm gonna have y'all switch back your Garfields. Because this film, television, crossover stuff, it's not working out for Garfield. So Garfield's gonna move on. Garfield's moving on to video games. And what video game is more relevant 
than Street Fighter. So you're back on your own Garfield now, and now he is a Street Fighter character, and I need you to draw him looking tough for the competition. <laughs> is there anything we could do to prepare you for this final round? <laughs> uh, no, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Alright, I am going to give you a rockin' three minutes to figure this hot mess out. Three, two, one, fight! I feel like both of these guys could already take on the evil dolphin from before. Well, yeah, they can take on the evil dolphin, but I, I think they're having worse luck with, uh... Well, mine is definitely having worse luck with his opponent. <laughs> oh, God, why? <laughs> that may be true. <laughs> you know what? It's looking a lot like it is true. Just, just hard and fast. Like that guy's punches. <laughs> this is the worst version of this guy I've ever done! <laughs> and it's glorious! Is, that, is he a night elf mohawk? Is that what's going on? <laughs> no! No, he isn't! <laughs> Oh, where even is this game? <laughs> Guess the street. Oh, wait, I know why it's gone wrong. I mean, it's not gonna go any more right, but it's <laughs> gonna stop going wrong. <laughs> Oh! Yes. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. You have 20 seconds, artist. <laughs> Art, where did you go? <laughs> oh. <laughs> 10 seconds. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the compliment, beauty. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> oh, you'd think I'd be more composed. Like I knew what was coming. I knew it long before what you did. But like, <laughs> get over it. Oh man, Anson, it's really looking like your Garfield just got his own fighting game. Like, he is the star. <laughs> He's really turned his day around. Welshman, I feel like maybe he should keep looking around. You know, more work. <laughs> Try he should go home. No, 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 no. He should go home and be a family man. <laughs> <laughs> and you're right, it does need the chest hair. <laughs> oh man. You know what? I'll allow that. That is that is That's a strong thing even without the hair. That magic wand noise that you guys may be hearing is me preserving these for future generations' enjoyment, chat. We're gonna archive these. They're never going away, gentlemen.
Oh, very good. Oh, man. I would like to thank everybody for being here. And for right now, I'd like to give us like a, a how do you guys feel about like a 15, 30 minute break? Would you like a short one, longer one? It's a chance for our artists to stand up, stretch their cramped wrists out, for chat to get a drink of water, reheat your nachos, you know, just, just to walk for a minute. And I will take the canvas for a period and I will draw what chat is craven, but they gotta tell me. Does that sound good to you, gentlemen? No, it sounds good to me, yeah. All right. You fine with 15 or 30? No, I'm fine with 15. All yeah, right. okay. So we'll take 15 minutes. We'll put it up on the timer. We'll get the honks going. If you guys want to, you know, get yourself taken care of. If there's anything you need to do, hit the restroom, what have you. And then we'll come back for another couple of rounds of the official stuff. The good biz. That hot circus action. All right. I'm going to I'm going to add a little text field here. Ooh, that looks terrible. That looks less terrible. Yeah, you know, we'll just put it right there. Block that out. Okay. So folks, you enjoying the show so far? Let's have a little heart to heart. Let's let's talk. I know that y'all are here for art, but if you could get anything, anything that you specifically want right now, no wackiness, what do you want? Best artistic rendering of popular VR rhythm game, Beat Saber, and also Train Accidents. All right, that seems good. Let's do it. I will be adding concepts as we go, as best I can. I am not warmed up. My art may not be good. I'm also not taking time to look up references. What do I look like? Some kind of guy that doesn't know things about Beat Saber and trains? Because I assure you, I am neither of those things. I am, in fact, a guy who knows about some Beat Saber. Not that I've ever played it. This guy's got a mic Microsoft VR, a mixed reality. It's not really virtual. He's doing his best though. Alright. Got trained. More buff Garfield. Okay. is in here. Some Beat Saber maps are train wrecks. Well then. Wife requests a doge. Good boy or bad boy? Too bad they're all good boys. Speaking of doges, you guys hear about uh, Isabel getting into Smash? That cute little mayoral figurehead? 
I thought the villager was weird, but uh, that's a good thing. I'm all going for on. it. Yeah. Garf Platinum. <laughs> Taco will have been crushed by all the antics going on here. <laughs> what else we got in here? Throw a border on that text there. Mm. I was thinking Garf of War. Garf of War? Oh, that's easy. <laughs> Less puns, more punting the boy, which is normal. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna add a leg. The timing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what normal looks like, so we're getting. Uh... Man, when was the last time normal was even in the the strip? Oh, I don't even remember. Like, all I remember is that he was insufferably cute, and this ended up in him being dunked into, into water bowls, food bowls, hunted. Yeah. Like, Nermal was more of a... Nermal was more of a whipping pet than goddamn Odie at times. I mean, really, Garfield is a very abusive housemate. I mean, he eats all the food, he's generally unpleasant. Like, Garfield's not a swell fella. I wouldn't want him working at my office. All right, what else do we got in here? Garf Brooks. <sighs> dumpster fires. I could do a dumpster fire. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Oh no, what's Garfield doing? <laughs> Garfield <laughs> using his powers. Garf Platinum. Oh no, get out of there. Side window. Gorf. <laughs> what else we got, chat? What's going on? <laughs> I'm all caught up on the list, chat. What do we got? Train accident? Moai statue. Okay. <laughs> well, a Moai statue wouldn't be complete without one of those little Arkanoid paddles. Arkanoid paddles. I think I can draw one of those from memory. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> yes. It's got the little lightning power up going on in there. It's getting hit by the train, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what else do we have? Oh damn, that evil band of JoJo that... villains. Made from various songs Kid Bop has covered. Damn! Maybe. <laughs> okay, if we're going all video games, why not a Dracula? A Dracula? Yeah, any old Dracula. Why not Count Chocula? Count Chocula. Like, at this point, I'm pretty sure there's about five or six Draculas. 
you mean by season one? Judge's Bizarre Adventure is a series that started about fighting Draculas. Yeah, he's gotta be striking up pillars. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, make it stronger. There's now a JoJo villain in front of the Arkanoid panel and the train. I'm sorry, everybody who requested things before this. It's getting all erased now. It's getting clogged. Look, it's in the service of a hot pose. <laughs> this is this has uh, been hot poses and hot takes with the Mad Welshman. <laughs> I've definitely got things against feet. <laughs> feet are harder than hands, is my hot take here. No, I'd be down with that. Big level failed. Right before, well, I've still got like five minutes, so I got time. <laughs> Sorry, I know that my mic goes quiet. It's because I am leaning away from the microphone to draw, unfortunately. Let's see, I gotta, I gotta look up Garth Brooks. Yeah, like, hands, there's, like, one subtle bit in the hand. Oh, I could do Garth Brooks. And feet? Well... It's, it's really weird, because hands, I see them every day, you know, in front of my eyes, all the time. And I think to myself, with regularity, like, yeah, there's something wrong with that hand. And I can figure it out, because I can just look at one. I can't, I can't dangle my foot out in front of me and use it as a reference image. I don't know. You, you'd fall over. Yeah. Sitting here at my desk? Like, that's hard. Yeah. And then, and then you go to random people in the street and you go, Hey, you seem like you'd have good feet. Can you show me your feet? And they go, <laughs> what? And then you just end yeah. up sitting at home Googling feet all the time. And that's just a hot mess. Like, it, it's just... You, there's no good way to look at feet, you know. All right, I mean, I need, I need more prompts. It's still going. <laughs> I still got another four minutes. And set. What do you need? What, what, what needs to go in this? Nope. No. Nope. Answer. <laughs> <Oops>. uh, <laughs> mm. I think we need SpongeBob with a sick dab. Dabbing Sponge. He can be part of the villain crew. Nermal, I'm sorry, you're getting scribbled on. I mean, what else is new? I hope that this can be a measure of good faith between us, gentlemen. I am not just making you suffer these time restrictions alone. <laughs> it's all good. It's all in good fun. <laughs> it's quite beautiful. I can mm. lie. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm especially loving the gore for war. <laughs>
Boy, do not touch my lasagna. <laughs> Gore. <laughs> he has slain all, slain all the gods of Mount Gorflimpus. Arbuckle is all that remains. <laughs> so this SpongeBob is looking a little mean, frankly. Well, yeah, but like he's really into that dabbing. He knows. He knows how to groove. He knows. How, he knows how, what he's doing. He's doing yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I still got a minute left, so we're gonna wind this down real quick here with something that I agreed with earlier. Wobbly? Wobbly? Wobbly! <laughs> and we're gonna call that. This has been the intermission of Wobbly Python's flying. Not flying, drawing circus. Oh. <laughs> we'll get him next time. <laughs> If anybody is interested, I will be selling this on a t-shirt later. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but frankly, who gives a shit about me? That's not what we're here for. That's not what you guys all showed up to, to observe. You guys are here to watch these guys sweat it out. <laughs> and those beeps mean that, that the show is back on. I have the Mad Welshman and Ensign with me, and they're here to draw more dumb garbage. Dumber than this, I hope. Give me a second <laughs> to strike this from the record of the earth and get the camera reset. Because I had to I had to wiggle it around a little bit. Yeah, Instant I represent. think we've got to do a bit of cleaning in the background, too. Yeah. <laughs> Bring oh, back. that's a shame. Oh no, I have saved it. It's gonna be here in the, uh, oh, the final circle oh, later. It's gonna come oh, through I that. Oh, I know, but at the same time, it's so hard to see your baby go. Did, is it been wrong? Oh man, Matt Walsh, when your name has been wrong the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, my friend, that's because it's in Welsh. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> it would be a giggle. Um, and uh, by by the way, it's big Yechida from the Bushman. <laughs> big oh, God. I don't know. Are you are you cursing me? <laughs> Is this gonna no, come no. back to me thirty quite, years from now in like a caravan? Quite, quite the opposite. <laughs> uh, that's uh, basically a good day, but it also literally means health on you. Aww. What a weird good way health. to say that. Sorry, good health. Most most um, good health that I've seen doesn't start and end with <laughs> so. Yechida. As opposed to uh, the cursing one, which is Yechavi. <laughs> Yechavi. Yeah, health on me. Give me health. Oh, give me health. Oh, I'm that sounds... Yeah, give me health. I'm ill. <laughs> that sounds like, like a southern swear. Right up there with bless your heart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, folks, we got our artists back. They're ready to go. They're, they're primed. They're in their prime. This is the best art they will ever make. Are you guys ready for the prompt? Yes, sir. All right, you guys are gonna draw competing cabbage vendors. Hmm. Oh. Just straight across the street from one another. Eyeballing each other. They know that other motherfucker's got a bunch of cabbages. They know it. They can see it. They can feel it. And he's undercutting them behind their back somewhere. So I need y'all to draw a couple of cabbage stands. I'm gonna give you five minutes. Because these, these are established properties. These are good cabbage stands. Okay. Are you prepared, artists? Prepared. 
Yep. All right, here we go. It is three, two, one. My cabbages! Oh wait, that might be a cauliflower. Yeah, well, there, there, there can be no ambiguity. I need perfect cabbages. <laughs> Lolar is offering a bonus point for every goat that you work into this image. Hmm. Challenge no, accepted. No, I'm safe. I'm safe. These are indeed cabbages. Ooh, those are really good cabbages. <laughs> Holy dang. And see why I'm so annoyed about my competitor. <laughs> Vivi Redbird is offering points for whoever draws the street in the middle. Oh no. Bear in mind, this is a show with no points, so do with them what you will. But they will not, they will not earn you the winner's hat. There's also not a winner's hat, that's not how the show works. You guys, you guys have seen the show. Yeah. We, we know that we drain the souls of the victor. Yeah. No, loser. Yes, loser. Mm-hmm. It would be super awkward if it was otherwise. Oh, yeah. I worked so hard, and now I don't have to anymore. It's great. <laughs> I'm done. Crap. Free. Now, now you say that. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a reverse capitalism genie. You don't deserve any oh. wishes, and then you just get to be free forever. Wandering the cosmos. Dang. Dang. <laughs> Baby Redbird. You are oh, go on. A boring high street, and I claim my five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Vivi Redbird, you are an audience member in Wobbly Python's Drawing Circus, where we are drawing successively more aggressive and more stupid prompts as time burns on. I am your host, Wobbly Python, joined today by Ansent on the right and the Mad Welshman on the left. Oh man. Is that, is that a cabbage-themed rifle? <laughs> <laughs> it's leaf lock. <laughs> you can tell I'm he's well-to-do my... from the top hat. I'm letting my normal standards of, like, carry mine go. Just the hell of it. <laughs> That's the spirit. Here on the drawing circus, occasionally you just gotta give up. Yeah, people in post are going to skip over the, the commercial break, we'll call it. Oh man, it'll be weird someday when we actually have those. That'd be wild and wacky. Yeah, yeah. And sponsoring us today are Baron Butter Snacks Butter Snacks. I can't believe it's just butter. Remember, when you're feeling peckish, just reach for the ponce in the big yellow pants. That's Baron Butter Snacks Butter Snacks. I can't believe it's just butter. Uh, damn right I'm underselling. <laughs> oh man, cabbages. There's, there's cabbages twenty-five p for eight pounds. Oh jeez. Yeah, chat. No, chat's not hiding anything. Oh, I've got more barons, Beauty Joe. <laughs> oh yeah, submit more sponsors, please. Because there's also Don Palm, the Suave Don Suave Don Palmade. 
you too can be one of the good fellas when you use Don Palm, the Suave Don's Suave Don Pomade. Live the life of luxury that only you can attain for yourself with your own two hands. But that's time! Alright, so I gave you a couple seconds while plugging the pomade that doesn't exist. You can't buy it anywhere. This is some good cabbage. I'm all about this. <laughs> <laughs> Anson, please explain the complicated business model of your cabbagery. <laughs> well, you know, after years of ridicule, he's finally given it up. He's selling all his cabbages for 99 cents, and uh, he's going out with a bang. <laughs> Literally. The yeah. <laughs> Matt Meanwhile, um, yeah, I, I'm self-destructing via undercutting. Uh, cause, uh, 25p for 8 pounds, that comes to a lot less than 99 cents, I'll tell you for that. Um, <laughs> in fact, it might come to, is it, is it, in, is it a nickel for the smallest? <laughs> a nickel for the smallest. It... Either way, um, yeah, cabbages, real Cabs. damn cheap. Cabbages, real damn cheap. You know what? I think that you guys need to really ponder this a little bit deeper. So I'm gonna need you to draw yourself shopping at the other man's cabbage stand. And I'm gonna give you two minutes to do that. Are you prepared, artists? I am prepared. All right. It is three, two, one. Really get into the art, really connect with it. I need you guys to really just picture yourselves there purchasing some cabbage because that's a thing that you do oh wait you said purchasing oh that's, that's a common mistake <laughs> I'll allow it <laughs> maybe you can recoup it with some of them goat points that Lolar is still offering Oh man, Ancent has delivered on the goat points. purchasing that's burgling yes it's a discount <laughs> a very particular kind <laughs> yes <laughs> this is your 30 second warning folks I mean, it's subtle, but it's there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this cab is seller. No luck. No perception, either. <laughs> <laughs> that is time. That is time. <laughs> this one has just come in, and I'm gonna go on a self-indulgent thing. The, the last rounds tend to get a little self-indulgent here. I'm gonna need you guys to draw some advertisements for the program into the HUD of the program. You know, just, just some stickers that I could slap up, you know. Really, really to sell the show to potential advertisers. We've got Don Palm, we've got Baron Butter Snacks, we now have Uncle Rusty's Underground World of Erotic Farm Equipment. Go nuts! If you wanna draw Domino's logo, I'm all about it. I'm gonna give you two minutes. To just slap some advertisements on this. You feeling good? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. You are not you're not bound by sides on this one either. I want you guys to feel comfortable putting them anywhere. Literally anywhere. And here we go. Three, two, one, make that money come. Bring that bank.
Yeah, it's time for marketing, Beauty Joe. You have inspired me to be a less virtuous person. <laughs> In fact, just terrible. Chat, I'm so glad that you support me financially. This is not what I expected. <laughs> Artist, you have 45 seconds. We got some Pepsi, we got some, some Chlory, we got some Monster, we got some Butter Snacks. Like, we got some cabbages. There's so much capitalism in one image. I don't know how I can contain it all. You can't. <laughs> oh, jeez. Do not adjust your stream. We control the horizontal and the vertical. But you don't control the time, and it is up. All of y'alls, yeah. out of time. Put them pens down. <laughs> <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> so another one that's on the, the newer trending edge of these responses. Sonic the Hedgehog and his friends are having a race down this street at the same time. I'm gonna give y'all... Yeah. Eh, three minutes to draw some fast chogs. You feeling comfortable? You gotta Google some chogs. I'm gonna Google a chog. All right. Please make sure that your safe search settings are on. <laughs> That's it. You doing all right over there? You're quiet. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm googling chogs. <laughs> googling chogs on Wobbly Python's drawing circus. <laughs> With our official chat botnik down at the bottom, you would think that we do this more often, but I try to keep the chogging to a minimum. Wait, no! My eyes! My <laughs> eyes! I told you to turn those on! <laughs> Safe search. We invented it for a reason. <laughs> VV Redbird uh, is threatening to remove points from anybody who draws Wobbles the Hedgehog. Uh-oh. I, on the other hand, will award many bonus points for Wobbles the Hedgehog. <laughs> okay. You get any countdown, Chief? Are y'all ready for the countdown, Trooper? Mm, ready. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Three, two, one, gotta go fast! Chili dogs! I might, you know what? Depending on how Wobbles the Hedgehog looks, he may become like an official channel mascot. <laughs> I'm not above it, I'll steal it. Original character, do not steal? Question mark? Wrong. Hedgehog's best chili dogs, trademark. Original food concept, do not steal. <laughs> Original character, now made of 100% steel.
I, I'm not doing the. Oh wait, actually, I am doing the eyes. Don't do the eyes right. <laughs> This is your minute 30 warning. Those deals! <laughs> this isn't just a street race. This is turned into something more. Wobbles the hand, Chug gotta take care of his hair. Absolutely. You know fast hair is important. Because I'm and living the good is life. The f he is the fastest hair in the West. <laughs> <laughs> It'll do. <laughs> 30 second warning, artists. <laughs> this race is <laughs> going so fast. There we go. Coming around at the speed of sound. That's <laughs> 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 time artists. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. This is, this is just 10 out of 10. <laughs> but you know what? I feel like it could still use more. It could use one more thing. It's gonna be the last thing that we add. These chogs, they're not racing, they're running. What are they running from? Well, the answer, my friends, is a very strong jellyfish that I'm gonna ask the both of you to draw together as a final collaborative effort <laughs> looming over the street. Yep. Yeah. Alright. You feel good about a final three minutes, both of you? Then we'll wind down. Sure. Yeah. Alright, let's fire away. It is three, two, one. I don't have a funny quip for jellyfish, just do it. Chat, as we are entering the final bit here, I would like to thank everybody who turned out for the live showing of Wobbly Python's Drawing Circus. And we still got a little bit more here at the end for you, because I know that folks like more. So, don't tune out. Collaborate so well. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Um. Jellyfish is really strong. I'm seeing how cut those muscles are in the background. <laughs> like, you know what they say about a jellyfish with big hands, right? Yeah. One too many times. Jellyfish with lots of big hands. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. We can definitely just completely start over. <laughs> just uh, just hit the rewind button. We'll get there. Also, this is your one minute warning, artists. We've got about a minute left.
right. It's an electric jellyfish. Oh, jeez. Bro, maybe five. Ten seconds. Doesn't, Doesn't matter. It's all. It's destroying Steve's, <laughs> and we can't let that happen. Well, actually, we can because it makes really. <laughs> well, that's time. That's time. The buzzer has sounded. We are out of time for this very strong jellyfish. <laughs> and said, if people want more, if people want more art, where do they go? How do we how do we find you? Um, I'm uh, I'm only on Instagram. I might expand later, but I'm on Instagram as at Antsent underscore art. And that's pretty much it for right now. Anyways. Man, I hope that you do branch out because this has been a delight. An <laughs> absolute <laughs> visual treat. And Bad Welshman, where do we find you out in the wild, wild world? Oh my. Uh, well, we got the Twitter, which is the Mad Welshman, where I also did video game reviews. Uh, we got my Mastodon.art, we got my art station, and uh, both of the uh, Mastodon.art uh, is TMW art stuff, and so is my Redbubble, where I got some shirts. Man, you have got the full spread. So you've got shirts, so if people want more of your art, they can, they can spend money and have it physically in their homes, on their bodies? Uh, they can have some of it, yeah, yeah. If they want their own. Feel free to let me know sites, um, the email on the Mad Welshman site, um, what they want. All right. I'm, uh, I'm okay with commissions. <laughs> Fantastic. So you are all set out. And for the folks who are looking for more, who want that last little bit, I'm going to put out the feeler here. I have got a YouTube and this show and the previous show will be going up on there let me get the link because I for some reason closed the tab a while back I'm looking to get some more people on here it's got some old let's play content which if you're into that that's cool please don't autoplay ever again YouTube that would be great you can chase us down here every follow helps eventually we'll be able to get a nice convenient vanity URL for the YouTube archive, but your episodes are preserved. So if you missed the last one and you're thinking, man, I wish I had another two hours of Wobbly Python's Drawing Circus, then you can go there, and that would be fantastic. But on top of this, I still got more for you. This extends out. I have had the wonderful pleasure of having a bunch more artists become interested in the Drawing Circus. So we are booked out. We have another show two weeks from now, same time, same place, on the 29th. I am going to have Dan and Mike, and they will be here to draw some more astounding art for you. We also have another show coming up on the 13th. Uh, I believe that that is... Oh, heavens, who's the name? I announced it earlier. It was fantastic. I will find it. I will post it in the Discord, which you should also join. Graybeard, my guy. Yeah, there he is. He's down in the audience. He's gonna be on here. In the spooktacular. Wait a minute. 29th? What? Whatever. All right. May maybe some of these names are in the wrong places. I'm excited and maybe getting stuff wrong. I'm sorry. That was the 13th, October 13th. I got those. Yeah. Backwards. Yeah. You. My you bad. You have spooktacular, really. Yeah. No. I have tripped at the starting line. <laughs> So I got those backwards. October, we're doing spooktaculars. I do have my dates mixed up. October, we're doing <laughs> spooktaculars. We got the 13th and the 27th, where we are going to do a bunch of movie and horror-themed art. And, of course, it's going to be the same standard of quality that you expect here at Wobbly Python's Drawing Circus. I've got a public calendar, it's posted in the Discord. If I'm still wrong, which is entirely possible because I'm not looking at it, you can go there and then you can correct me publicly and shame me. <laughs> Please do. But Mad Welshman and Scent, it has been a delight having you on the show. 
but unfortunately, I think this is where we're going to call it closed. It's been a pleasure to be. Fantastic. Same. <laughs> and a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you both for turning out. And remember, if you guys want to be on the show, join the Discord. Talk to me. It's easy to get on. It's easy to have everything go. You just got to talk to me, make sure that we're going to get on okay. You're going to need to use drawpile.net, which is also a fantastic program, and you are going to not have problems setting it up. If you've got a tablet, that's fine. If you've got a mouse, also fine. I'm trying to set up mouse nights. That would be just the most fun, I think. So tell your friends, tell your family, tell everybody. Bring them on down to Wobbly Pylons Drawing Circus. Every two weeks, we're going to have a new show. Maybe more if more folks come out of the woodwork. Because I don't want to start scheduling it out into November and December. Like, you're ready to play now, right? So come at me. Bring your art. And with that, I am going to push you guys out on just some arbitrary channel. Who do we, who do we want to throw everybody at green room <laughs> not the green room no we're talking about a raid we got enough people oh. here we can we can crash oh. in on somebody's oh, channel yeah. we oh, can say yeah. hello <laughs> i know where we're going This channel is intended for mature audiences, so you might see some things, but you're all art people. But we're going over there, and we're going to say, hello, it's wonderful to meet you. And we're going to chill out and have another fantastic evening with some more art. Oh, I should have raided Terravan, dang it. All right, next time. But I think the crowd here is all warmed up and ready to look at some illustration, some art. So let's go pile in. <laughs>